Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we will learn how to implement Angular Material Expansion Panel. That's right. In the previous episodes, we have learned about how to installing components, how to including them in our module, and much, much more about some of the components in detail. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so to encourage and support me. During any of these technical tutorials, if you have any doubts, any queries, please drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Let's get started with the practical of implementing Angular Expansion Panel. Alright, so I have got my application up and running. We are continuing from our previous episodes. Let's first see how the output looks so far we have used. So we learned to use Angular material cards. We have used buttons. We have used icons. We have used select dropdowns. We have learned to bind data on the select dropdowns. We have used mat chips. We have used mat badges. We have used mat list. We have used navigation list. Now we are going to use expansion panels. That's pretty straightforward and simple. Let's see how. So the first thing we need to do is to import the module that we need. In this case, we have expansion module. Mat expansion module, you need to import this into our, I have included it into a generic common module so that we can capture all the modules in one go instead of injecting one by one into our app module. And once done, I have imported this module into our app module.ts file. Let me know if you have any doubts in this. I will be happy to help you, but continue with me on this and stay with me. All right, so to implement a expansion panel, first we need to include the tag, which is mat accordion. So we have to use mat accordion, and then inside this we'll use mat expansion panel. So this is the first panel that we'll be using. Similarly, you can have multiple, any number of panels that you want as per your application. In my case, I'm just adding three for now. So once we have added expansion panel, we need to give the mat panel title. So this I'm going to call it accordion one, or let's say we want to call it personal let's call it personal similarly i'll copy and paste it here this let's call it experience and let's add one last and let's call this social right so once we have added this so this is part of our expansion panel now we need to add the description All right. Similarly, you will add the description to each of the accordion panel that we have created. So here, let's call it. All right, that's all you need. So expansion panel, first we need to create a mat accordion. And once we have done it, we need to create an expansion panel inside that we'll specify the title and inside the description we'll put the description similarly i have created three here one for personal one for experience one for social that's the simplest code that you can get started with let's see our output all right so there is no output because something has gone wrong let's go ahead and check it out what's going wrong now first thing you need to do whenever you go wrong is to check the spellings. So mat accordion, mat expansion panel, mat. Okay, so this is expansion panel. It's not title, it's called header everywhere. Sorry about that. And similarly, we'll use a closing tag for it and we'll copy it. All right, so this is experience and this is social 
all right so far so good so expansion panel will have a expansion panel header and similarly each of this would have a expansion detail so you can add this description or you can add some data to it okay so let's see now we see here that we got three of our expansion panels click on it and it opens up similarly click on it and it opens up beautiful so we expand the expansion panel and use them accordingly so why not group some data together and see that in action so i'm going to move few cards let's move our chips here into one of the expansion panel all right so now let's expand this and we see that our chips card is inside this accordion similarly let's move some more let's move this navigation list into the second accordion all right so now let's expand the second and we see the navigation list inside this experience similarly for personal similarly for social so for social let's cut some badges card and paste it in the third panel all right so there we are we have our three expansion panels now we can see them all in working we can expand we can collapse okay social experience okay this looks like something has gone wrong since it is outside we need to be inside the accordion panel now they should see now we see three one is for personal one is for experience one is for social so far so good so this is how we can use expansion panels so just to revise first import the expansion module into our common module that we are using to import in our app module once we have done it we'll use a mat accordion tag and then inside that we'll create a mat expansion panel panel will have a header which is the title it can have description also and then the content that want, we want it inside this is how you can easily create expansion panels in your application this was a quick tutorial on angular expansion panel do give it a try and let me know if you have any queries any doubts i'll be happy to help you for free that being said please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next episode